This video is an overview of the board. Again, as we talked about in class, these are your channels. Each piece of equipment's labeled. Your monitor section is here. Your meters are up here. Microphone one, microphone two. In this room, there's nothing in three. CD player one, CD player two, CD player three. Currently, the turntable is not connected, but if it is, it will come up here. And what is labeled as DigiLink will be the virtual sound cart, which I do not have turned on right now. As sort of a basic, basic setup, always make sure that when you come to the board before you start, turn it on or before you leave it, everything is turned down. You can simply turn everything to 12 noon and adjust as necessary. In a separate video, we talk about the headphones. Also, remember that the volume, this volume, are to the speakers that are in the room. Once a microphone is turned on, these are muted. That's why you absolutely have to wear your headphones. In a separate video, there's also instruction on how to use the headphone amplifier. Eventually, you'll just be able to turn on the green lights that you need and leave them. But in the beginning, I want you to operate and work around the board by turning things on and off. So if we were going to simply turn microphone number one on, we would properly position microphone number one, and there's a separate video on that. We would designate program. Again, once program is pushed here, we never have to worry about it again. We would key the microphone in and we would open up the channel and try to achieve a good recording level. Again, every level is going to be a little different and your voice is not going to be so consistent that it will stay perfectly in one spot. For your levels to bounce around is completely normal. And once again, you are not trying to get them to stay perfect. What you don't want is them to be barely, barely moving or moving way too much or what we call pinned. The idea is for you to average, average around about zero. A little lower or a little over is fine. Occasionally, you'll get a little loud and it will tend to peak. At other times, it will be just fine. Um, and other times it will be a little bit on the low side, but again, on the average, you're around about zero. One of the other functions we haven't quite spoken about yet is the Q button. What Q allows you to do is listen to a source without it coming through the board and being recorded or going out to people at home. In this case, I'm going to try to use something in CD Player 2. Now, people can see that, and excuse me, people would hear that at home, and you could see the levels moving. What Q allows you to do is listen to the source without anyone else hearing it. So right now, I'm just listening to it through this little speaker right here. There is a way to get it through your headphones, but right now, just know it's coming through this little speaker. Just because you hear it doesn't mean it's getting recorded. We're in the Q mode, which means we're only listening to it in here. Is this the song we want to listen to? Oh, wait, this isn't the right song. We can then search for the right track. Again, the idea of queuing is to get material ready before people at home would hear it. The only other buttons we talked about were actually these buttons up here, these two red ones and this red one here. Again, in a previous video, I just made the point, don't touch them. They're not going to hurt anything 
but they're not going to do anything. Remember, the only red buttons you're pushing to talk or to hear a source are down here. One other point, is it possible to be in queue and program at the same time? And the answer, and the answer is yes. Um, if you are hearing things and they don't sound right or sound like they're coming from the wrong spot or just make sure you're not in queue and program keyed in at the same time. There's also one other set of buttons. They're the audition buttons. And in audition, you would actually, or actually could, depend on... There is one other button we didn't talk about, and it's the audition button. And it works in conjunction with these buttons over here. If I were to push audition and key it in, slide it up by itself, nothing would happen. However, if audition is pushed here and here, it looks exactly like we're recording. Here's the problem. We're not actually recording. Audition does not go to program. Audition actually doesn't even leave the board in the current wiring configuration. So for all intents and purposes, just don't select audition here and don't select it down here. PGM, PGM never talk, and only cue when you're trying to listen to a source you do not want to record. Now, why Audition exists, or in some boards, Program 2, we'll talk about that as a lecture topic. But for now, just know the only keys you're going to be using are these keys, these keys, occasionally these yellow keys, and just adjusting your levels. I usually tell people, start it, after you've turned the board on, turn it up to about 12 o'clock, and then you can adjust the levels as needed. All right, but it's always better to have them open at least a little bit, um, as opposed to keeping them completely down, because what tends to happen is once you start not hearing things, you start to push everything up, and then once you do figure it out, everything comes through sort of explosively. So. Again, just get some basic setup, and once you think you have things set up, you should be able to hear things and be able to move your um, audio internally around the board appropriately. So again, it's always good to sort of start with things up sort of in the middle or less than halfway. This way, should things not exactly work right in the beginning, like you forget to select the proper button here, or you forget to designate here, or you forget to key in down here, it won't suddenly just pop in and be really super loud. So again, once you're done, normal the board, all lights are off, all faders down, all knobs counterclockwise. Again, the only thing that won't turn off is going to be this program button over here.